Hello, and welcome to this video on food spoilage myths. As a lead up to a video using yeast fermentation to preserve food, this video will debunk some of the more common food myths. The first of these is that you can smell when food has gone bad. This is a myth. Food poisoning bacteria does not change the appearance of food, the smell, or the taste. Food spoilage bacteria will cause these changes. The difference is in the outcome. One ruins the taste of the food, but not necessarily causes disease, whereas the other leads to praying at the porcelain throne. Speaking of things that look particularly poor, moldy bread is another example of food myths. You cannot cut mold off of bread and still consume it, confident that it would be safe. Unlike other more solid foods, bread is porous and somewhat moist. This lets mold penetrate deeply into the bread, and this means removing surface mold is not enough. Spores and veins that may not be visible to the naked eye will still exist, and these will still make you sick. On the other hand, solid foodstuffs like hard cheese will prevent penetration to a certain depth by mold. Removing that visible surface layer of mold will remove the majority of the pathogenic. However, it is still ill-advised to consume this food. For example, that toasted cheese sandwich on your bench that looks bad is probably bad. You cannot solve the issue of bread that would be bad and cheese that might not be as bad by reheating it. Reheating food is a myth. Heating can kill some of the bacteria if it gets hot enough. These temperatures can also ruin food or cause serious injury to you when eaten. And that is how high you must heat food to kill off the bacteria. Unfortunately, the process of heating food will only kill some of the bacteria, but not all of them and not other things. In this case, foodborne toxins from the bacteria. On the other side of this equation is the myth that freezing food will kill bacteria. This is definitely a myth. Bacteria can survive being frozen, especially in a nutrient-rich environment when there are plenty of bacterial cells available. Contaminated food is a perfect example. The next myth builds on that to a certain degree, and that is refreezing food is unsafe. Raw food, like meat and egg products, once they have been thawed in the refrigerator, can be safely refrozen for later use. But this is only true if they have been thawed using a safe method. Defrosting on the counter is not one, as bacteria in a temperature range is considered unsafe and leads to a large growth in the population for far too long. Therefore the food becomes unsafe. On the other hand, that piece of fish that's been sitting in your fridge since last night may well be safe if it is refrozen, but it should not be done so on a regular cycle. Foods should be kept at either an extremely low or an extremely high temperature. This will prevent the cell growth and division, leading to safe food. This leads into the final myth, the five second rule. This one has a whole range of gray shades. Surprisingly, it can be summarized quite easily with this one article. Generally, it is unsafe to eat food that has been on the floor. This was actually tested in a recently published article. The short version of which is that fruit is the worst thing to eat if it has touched the floor, followed by bread, and then gum candies. The weird thing is that carpet has a very low transfer rate from this study, and bacteria that were on tiles, stainless steel, or wood flooring had much higher rates of transfer. Now this doesn't mean that if you're going to drop food, drop it on carpet, or if you're going to drop food, make sure it's a confectionery item, but that there is a clear pattern in which bacteria transfers from certain things onto other things much better than others. The confectionery tends to be reasonably solid, and it is not porous. On the other hand, bread is very porous, very moist, and therefore bacteria will transfer readily. The contact with carpet is on the strands, and these strands tend to minimize the amount of surface area. Conversely, steel, tiles, and wood tend to either be a flat surface 
or porous in and of themselves, and as a consequence, hold more bacteria near the surface. And this allows for greater transfer. These five myths are interesting, but they also key to understanding how yeast can be used to preserve foods. That video will be coming in the near future. For more details on how to keep your food safe, please look in the description box below where you'll find a number of links for further reading. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below.